This is the uh, the used rotor I bought for it, but it's still um, real smooth. I'm gonna take and uh, and polish it all up. Um, it's gonna be just how I do the rim, so I'm not gonna make a, a video on how I'm polishing this. But if you want to um, check out how to polish aluminum ATV rims. It'll be in that video and it's the uh, same procedure. It's a video on how to install a brake rotor or remove a brake rotor on a 2005 LTZ 400. It'll be the same on all the Z400s. First thing you're going to do is put a jack right up under the swing arm. Lift it where the tires are both off the ground. I've got an electric impact. If you don't, leave it on the ground to remove your four lug nuts. The way I'm going to do it is I'm just going to remove my whole hub as a tire assembly <laughs> instead of removing my lug nuts. You can take the rim off and then the hub. I'm just going to remove this carter key and then pull this nut and the whole, whole hub off. Alright, I got the carter key out. Make sure to uh, Remove this large retaining nut. I have a uh, G Force axle on here, so I've got three inch spacers. Let's slide off with it. Set it aside. The whole hub assembly. It slides right off. Hard to deal with one hand, but just like this. Exposing your axle. Just letting me slide the new right on. Alrighty. On your rotor, you're going to have indentions for the screws on one side. And then you'll see a flat back that, that mounts up against it. Just want to slide it over. And making sure our kids are fit. Their kids go to school, they get up sometimes they get breakfast, they get lunch, and that may be all they get. I'm going to remove my caliper so I can bolt it in place and put the caliper back on top. To do this, got one bolt right here. And this will slide back. Right now that you got your caliper out of the way. I'm going to take it just like this and mount it in these holes right here. Correct mounting holes. Alright guys. Sorry I had to take a break and uh, get the kids fed and everything. But um, once you screw this on to your plate can mount your caliper back onto your rotor and then just reverse order slide the tire back on slide your tire back on if you got spacers put those on locking nut and your carter key all right that's it thank y'all for watching the video if y'all like what you saw or you didn't just leave a comment below let me know uh... <laughs> you made a mess she made a mess messy messy but uh, if you got any questions or anything just holler at me if you uh, you want to see anything in particular just uh, leave a comment below hit that like button if you like it comment subscribe There'll be uh, more videos coming soon on projects. See ya.